what's up guys um i wanted to obviously make a video and uh talk about um kobe bryant i didn't uh i wasn't sure if i was gonna make one or not or if i'd have uh if i'd have the ability to but um i think i think i i want to and i need to um kobe bryant was was more than just a basketball player to me um i was born in 96 uh the same year kobe entered the league and growing up obviously that's all i knew all i knew was kobe bryant all i knew was number eight number 24. uh i remember I remember my earliest memories of watching Laker games with, you know, the family, my dad and uh, my mom and uh, friends and family, uh, playoff games, Derek Fisher's point four. I vividly remember that, and I was very young. I probably was like seven or eight at the time. Uh, I loved basketball because of the Lakers and because of Kobe. Um, I played basketball because of them. And... Uh, hearing that Kobe had passed away or died in a helicopter crash I was just in shock I couldn't believe it uh, my girlfriend had told me and I just sat there and I just I checked my Twitter and of course everyone was saying the same thing there's no way it was real there's no way it had to be fake not Kobe there's no way that could have happened to Kobe. Like, we're talking about the same guy. Um, but sure enough, we were. I, uh, um, I, growing up, I do everything. I do everything. I tried to mirror. I wanted to be just like Kobe. I wanted to, I wanted to play professional basketball. I wanted to play. I played basketball in high school because of Kobe. I mirrored my game after Kobe or whatever game I had. Uh, you know, I tried. Everybody tried. You know, you'd be lying if you didn't throw a piece of trash into the trash can and and um, and yelled out Kobe when you shot it. That was just the thing to do. And knowing that he's gone is just it's hard to it's hard to put together. And then knowing that his little girl was with him, Gigi Gianna, who was who was, you know, inspiring to be just like him and play ball just like him. And she wanted to, everyone would always say that, you know, we always wanted Kobe to have a boy. Uh, me and uh, my friend Alex, we always wanted Kobe to have a boy whenever we heard Vanessa was pregnant because we knew that, man, we'd have a Bryant to look forward to when we got older and watch to see him live out the legacy. But she wanted to be that. And uh, knowing that they were together and not only is it so sad, but I mean, at least they had each other in that moment. And um, I don't know. I just kind of want to share my Kobe stories of what Kobe meant to me and the rest of the city and the rest of the world. I mean, the how everyone is reacting to it is just phenomenal. It's crazy. Like all day yesterday and still today is all I see on the timelines of Twitter and Instagram and YouTube is just Kobe, 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 Kobe everywhere heartfelt letters, memories, stories of just Kobe fans to celebrities, to nobodies, and like me, like a nobody. I was just a fan with a Kobe jersey, a basketball, and a dream. And he's, you know, he, he made it okay for you to fight and to not be scared of your dreams and to have this so-called Mamba mentality of, of perseverance and never quitting and always striving for greatness and things like that. And uh, it's just, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard to put together. And it's crazy, like, although, yeah, I shed some tears and I've been very emotional in the last, like, 24 hours or whatever just thinking about this. It's just so sad. Um, there's so many people out there that have, have just, you know, overwhelmingly shown, like, outside Staples Center of how many people showed up and across the country of, like, buildings, you know, uh, throwing up purple and yellow, like, 
Man, it's so crazy. It almost feels like it almost feels like I lost. I lost. I lost like a, a family member in a, in a way. It, my I just got off the phone with my dad, and my dad is not an emotional guy whatsoever. The man is, um, the the man's always mad, and uh, he he literally sat there and called me just because he wanted to he wanted to talk to me, and um, and we just talked about Kobe. For 20 minutes and I haven't seen my dad in like maybe a week or two two weeks and for 20 minutes we just talked about Kobe and how he shed tears and how he was emotional and how he felt like he lost a best friend and my dad's older than Kobe at least by six years my mom called me yesterday crying because she wanted to hear my voice because of just how sad she was and she knew she knew what Kobe um what Kobe meant to me um and some other family members hit me up and did the same thing so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I just, uh, I just wanted to share my, my Kobe story and what Kobe meant to me. He's bigger than just a Laker or just a basketball player or, you know, the guy was, the guy meant a lot to a lot of people and especially people my age, whether you're 23, 24, 25, if you're around that range and you grew up watching Kobe, um, you know, this man means a lot to you. If you loved basketball, if you loved sports, uh, if you were a Laker fan or not, um, Kobe somehow, some way affected you. And, um, it uh, it's really sad. I just still can't believe it when I say that out loud. Like Kobe Bryant is no longer with us, and uh, the helicopter and the other people may they rest in peace. Um, you know, there was a family that lost a mother, a father, and their sister, and I know there's two siblings now without their family have more than half their family is gone and it's just so heartbreaking off of just a freak accident and you just got to wonder why 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 them why now why that way what's the message behind it if there's a message you know if there's a spiritual nature to it or not i don't know i i don't i'm not saying i believe in it or don't i just don't know you know, I just don't know. Um, off of that, though, um, Kobe's legacy will live on for sure. They canceled the Lakers and Clipper game uh, that was supposed to be for tomorrow. They postponed it. I think that's the right thing to do. People are trying to get Kobe to be, uh, they're petitioning for him to be the logo. And it's actually funny because we've we've talked about that before in the past a couple few years now. We just always wanted to push. We just like you know maybe it's time for a change. The NBA logo should be Kobe. How cool would that be? And um, now it'd be really awesome to see them do that. And then my last my last thing, man, you got a uh, big shout out to Mark Cuban, uh, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks. Um, he was always kind of a cool guy. You know, you've seen him on Shark Tank and whatever. Um, but uh, yesterday he said that the team, the organization, will retire the number 24, and no one will ever wear it again in there in in that team. And I thought that that's just that's just awesome. That's so cool. I don't know if the rest of the league or other teams will do so, but um, for Mark Cuban and the Dallas Mavericks to do that, that was awesome. So much respect to them. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, let you know how I'm doing about it because I know I'll, I know everyone's affected by it some way and I know a lot of you are probably Laker fans um, that follow me or that subscribe to this channel and if you're not you're Warrior fans I know a lot of you either hated the Lakers but you had a respect for Kobe uh, in some sort of way because you knew what kind of guy what kind of competitor he was he just laid always out on the line um, but that's it guys uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Anyways, rest in peace to the Black Mamba. May his legacy live on. 24 to the 8. See you guys.